Hi Scorpio, welcome to your December monthly tarot reading. My name is Hannah, welcome to my channel, and thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of your experience today. For your first crowner, you have the Page of Water, clarified by the Lovers and the King of Pentacles. See so you know what song I keep hearing in my head? I think it's by Tori Kelly. It's like, I was made for loving you. Even though we may be hopeless, hearts just passing through. Every bone screaming, I don't know what we should do. All I know is, darling, I was made for loving you. This is a beautiful romance that some of you guys are in. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, um, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Pisces, another Scorpio. But there is something here that's absolutely beautiful brewing for you. Definitely with this Lovers, the Star, the Four of Wands, the Six of Water, the Page of Water, the King of Pentacles, just stability, love, affection, romance, generosity, equal give and take, very balanced connection that I see you're in, Scorpio. This could be a new person that has entered your life, or it could be a new relationship, or it could just be something that makes you feel young. You know, this is a young love, like a, a you know, even if you're not, you know, even if you're a little older, it could still make you feel very fresh and new. You know, it's just that excitement that this person brings into your life. Such a beautiful energy, very stable, very grounded. Um, this person makes you feel abundant, you make this person feel abundant, like I said, equal give and take. You have the Six of Water here for your second crowner, clarified by the Star and the Four of Wands. So I definitely sense for some of you this is a past person, or you could have had a lot of past lives with this person if this is a new person. But there's something that divinely calls you to this person. It's almost as if some of you are destined to, you know, get together with this person and get married, you know, be together. It's like she says, you know, even though we may be hopeless hearts just passing through, it was destined for you to be with this person at this time. So even though you may not get married with this person, you may have no intention of marrying this person for some of you. Some of you may. Some of you may want to have children and get married in the whole shebang with this person, um, but for some of you, you're just like, you know what, I really just enjoy this person's time in my life. I really do like them a lot, and I hope that one day we can get together and get married and have children in the whole shebang, but I'm just going with the flow. You know, I'm just allowing things to pass and allowing things to grow. But you have the moon here for your third crowner. Clarified by the hangman and the page of pentacles. So some of you are definitely having realizations this month. There's some sort of realization you like open your eyes to some sort of opportunity here that's been hidden for you hidden from you for quite some time. There's something that you've been destined to do. Some of you are following some sort of path to destiny. You may be on a contract of some sort um, and this is your destined path. Some of you may be teaming up with somebody or partnering up with somebody on a business venture or a career path. But I definitely see growth in your career in the month of December, Scorpio, like major, major growth. I'm talking like skipping levels. Like you're just, you're growing so fast that it's almost like you skip levels. Some of you, your growth comes from seeing something from a different perspective. You're looking at something from a different perspective. The moon card is using your psychic insights. Maybe some of you are readers yourselves, or maybe you're just trying to pursue a career path that involves your insights. So some of you might be trying to do business and it requires intuition and you know the, the ability to read people on another level um, to conduct business. It doesn't necessarily require it. I guess you could do fine without it, but it really does help to be able to have those social skills and those intuitive abilities. But you have the two of fire here as your last crowner. Clarified by the Three of Wands and Death, your card. So I definitely see that there's something that you're planning for. You've made your plans, Scorpio. You've put in the work. 
you've put in the time, you've put in the effort, now it's just time to allow those plans to come forth and to present themselves to you. You know, those opportunities that you've planned for, the plans that you've made, the things that you've done to prepare for this situation. It's now just time for you to sit back and wait for them to come into fruition. I definitely see your career going through a massive transformation in the month of December. And it comes from some sort of realization. Some of you may have a realization during like a meditation or something like that. Some of you are also hung up on some secrets is something that I'm seeing. Like maybe some of you are keeping a secret or you know, your, your partner or your friend, your family member, someone around you is keeping a secret. I definitely sense a very spiritual connection between you and someone else though. Very spiritual. So someone in this relationship, you could be dealing with a fire sign, is quite blocked off. They're quite guarded. There's some, you know, like I said, there's been some wounding here. Could have been from some secrets that someone kept. Um, someone is still feeling this energy, this Nine of Wands energy. Putting up walls and yes, when you put up walls, nobody can hurt you, but nobody can show you love either. So it's kind of like a double-ended sword. I'm hearing somebody is walling out a lover. Like it's a very beautiful connection, Scorpio. Very beautiful connection. This person's not out to get you. They're not out to hurt you. I am a Scorpio myself, so I know, <laughs> I understand, guys. We tend to think that, you know, everyone's out to get us, everyone's out to hurt us, everyone's gonna screw us over. But this person has no intention of screwing you over. This person has no intention of betraying you. Um, you know what I mean? So I think some of you guys are really, really worried, and this doesn't have to be you, this can be your partner. Um, but I definitely can see where it would be the Scorpio doing this just because of our personality type. That's typically how we are as people. But like I said, could totally be somebody else. But I definitely see that there's stability here. There, it's grounded. It's it's a very mature connection. You know, like I said, this could be a past person, or this person could be very mature, and you could be very mature. But there's just this energy of like youthfulness with this connection. Like they make you feel young again, or they just make you feel like that childlike energy. You know, it's a very childlike, playful connection. Some of you, you know, you're very artistic and you possibly use this relationship as like inspiration for your art, something that I'm seeing. But you have the Ace of Pentacles here. So like I said, there's some sort of beautiful opportunity that comes to you. There's some sort of growth, guys, that comes to you in the month of December in terms of your career. Some of you may try to make an offer to someone who's possibly walked away is something that I'm seeing. And this person might be very indecisive or vice versa. Somebody might offer you something then you've walked away and you're very indecisive about it. But I definitely see the door of opportunity opening for you, Scorpio. And it's been open this whole time, but you're finally going through it. Some of you may be walking away from an offer. Is something that I'm seeing like a job offer or something. You may be saying no, not interested. It may be a past job that comes back and says, hey, we want you to work for us again. And you're just like, no. But there's some sort of opportunity that's here and it's, it's coming at you very loud and, loud and clear. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, some of you walked away from something because it was quite rocky. It was a very beautiful thing that you had with this job or this relationship. But there was a lot of... Um, a lot of kind of hectic details about this situation, you could say. And that caused you to walk away. Like some of you had to go through some sort of spiritual transformation or just recognize something from a spiritual standpoint, from an intuitive standpoint. 
you saw something for what it really was and you were like, okay, I, I don't really need this. This is not serving my highest purpose, my highest good. So therefore I'm going to skedaddle. Some of you are very still, you're very hung up on this. You're very hung up on this person, on this job, on this situation. But it's all in secret. It's very under the surface with the moon card. But I definitely see some of you walking away from an opportunity. Could be that this person comes back and offers you something and you say no, or it could be a job that offers you something and you say no. But at the end of the month, you have a lot of indecision. There's a decision that you have to make at the end of the month. That's something that I'm seeing. Because you have two fire and two of swords. So I feel like you're very guarded, or somebody's very guarded towards you. Could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Could also be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, but I do see that there is a very strong energy of being guarded. Like somebody is blocking themselves off from something completely because they're afraid. There could have been a third party situation that caused this. Yeah, like someone may have been hanging around in the background. And Scorpio, I feel like this is you. You're just, some of you are just very cold and closed off to someone or something. Because there's no cups here. So some of you have let these feelings die or, you know, you've just kind of retracted from the situation. Um, as I mentioned, I think in my last video, in my last reading that I made for Scorpio, you know, we are some of the best lovers, in my opinion. You know, when we do love someone, we love hard. But when that person betrays our love, when they take advantage of our love, we tend to switch up really quick, right? And we can become super cold and super just... We're assholes, right? <laughs> to say the least, we're assholes. We can be assholes sometimes whenever we feel like we need to be. You know what I mean? So that's kind of what I see happening here. You possibly gave your love to somebody. Um, they may have done something foolish or whatever, but it's definitely in the past. Like this isn't something that's still occurring. But I definitely see that someone did something here and now you're coming off very cold very cold but for some of you you know it's almost like you you care about this person you know there's still passion there you've had to walk away from your feelings I sense that this has maybe been hard for you because you have strong feelings for this person but you've had to walk away from them and you're still stuck on them it's under the surface though you're not telling anybody about it um, on the surface you're coming off very cold but deep down you still have feelings and, you know, something for this particular energy. And I think some of you, your intuition is telling you that this is a very strong love. This is a very strong romance and you're just trusting that the universe will bring this four of wands back to you. You know, this commitment, this offer of commitment. Because some of you feel like it's destined. You're like, I'm going to be with this person. I know I am. I'm going to be with them no matter what. Like, I know it in my heart. It's like that song that I was singing, you know, I was made for loving you. That's how some of you feel about this person. But some of you have had to walk away in order to establish like boundaries. I think that's also why this card is here. Like some of you guys are establishing boundaries because maybe you felt like you were taken advantage of or you felt like you were, you know, getting walked all over. So some of you guys had to walk away from something in order to set boundaries and say, hey, you know what, you're not gonna act like this, right? Because we Scorpios, we know how to tell them. We really do. We're the masters of ghosting. We really are. We're like, oh, you want to act like that? <sighs> Disappears into smoke. One card, spirit. One card. Please and thank you. Thank you, thank you. True love... Come to me. 
What did I say? <laughs> Sometimes I don't even need to talk. These cards just speak for me. True love shall come to me, as I do will, so mote it be. So some of you have walked away from something that you felt a very strong connection to. In your heart, in your soul, you know this is inevitable. You know that this relationship is going to happen. However, you had to walk away in order to establish some sort of boundaries, to establish some sort of control, some sort of power. And now you've come to kind of like a standstill is something that I'm seeing. You know, maybe you're not moving forward, you're not trying to think about the past, you're just kind of like, okay, I need to focus on me right now, I need to focus on what I need. But I think in the back of your mind, you know, you're still focusing on the fact that this potentially could be true love, you know, and you know better than anyone else what your own true love is. now you're really having to focus on yourself and I think that's why it says as I do will so mote it be the more you do you Scorpio the more you focus on yourself the more you you know heal yourself the more likely it is that this is going to manifest for you does that make sense so focus on you a better me brings a better you as they say so the more you heal yourself focus on yourself the more this person's going to do their inner work too whether you recognize it or not um, and then that'll eventually create a scenario where you can both come back together in harmonious union because for some of you This is definitely a very strong soulmate connection like very strong um, I got the page of water. I got the four of wands. I got the star. I got lovers, you know beautiful energy beautiful beautiful energy so You know some of you could be a Scorpio with a fire sign or a Scorpio with an air sign and you could be dealing with a fire sign or an air sign. I'm also seeing earth. I have all the signs on the table here pretty much, so take it how it resonates. But I'm going to go ahead and pull you guys a yoga card because these have been doing very well. So if you want to incorporate this into your practice, go ahead. If you want to just do the stretch on its own, go for it. If you don't want to do any of it at all, that's cool too. I don't, I don't care. It's your life. What does Scorpio need to do in the month of December? What asana does Scorpio need to work on in the month of December? Okay. Yogi squat. Or on this card it says garland, but it's also called malasana. I've always called this yogi squat. Great root chakra pose. Great root chakra pose. Um, really good for grounding you know, getting in touch with that ground. Some of you guys could do this barefoot, you know, outside in the dirt, you know, getting really in touch with mother nature. Some of you really need to get in touch with mother, mother nature. Some of you guys need to go outside is something that I'm seeing. Like some of you spend a lot of time indoors. You may work indoors. Um, I mean, I'm sure most of you work indoors, but some of you are just like, you go to work, you go home, you sleep, you repeat. You know what I mean? You don't really do much outside. Some of you need to go out and get some sun, go out and get some fresh air. 100% go out into nature Some of you need to go by a river or like a body of water or something because we are water signs and we typically heal through water So some of you may want to heal yourselves through like a bath um, Better yet a river You know put your feet in a river put your hands in a river um, Or in like a creek or something like that. I know it's kind of cold out but you know doesn't really matter I just, I'm hearing water, heal yourself with water. Some of you guys need balance as well is another thing that I'm sensing. You know, some of you guys really need to balance yourselves out. I think your mind feels very off balance because of all this decision making that you got going on here, this like confliction, being at a standstill with something, right? That's got you in this energy of kind of like confusion or Confliction, I guess is the best word. So you're kind of just at opposing ends. You know, you have one idea and you have another idea and they're just fighting one another. So you need to find balance between these two ideas and just kind of stick with it. Also, prayer. Some of you guys really need to pray. You need to incorporate prayer into your life, into your practice, if that's what resonates with you guys. Meditation is a form, prayer is a form of meditation. Um, so you can meditate, but just ask spirit for what you want. 
like ask, you know, ask spirit for guidance, for assistance, because some of you guys don't ask enough is something that I'm seeing. You know, some of you are very connected to the moon and some of you may want to pray to the moon is something that I'm seeing as well. But that is what I see here. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. If you'd like a personal reading, go ahead and contact me. All of my information is going to be in the description box below. Check out my vlogs, check out my other readings. I'll have them listed around here somewhere. Go ahead and like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you later, Scorpio. Have a beautiful rest of your month. Bye-bye.